Have you ever struggled to get perfectly straight and align 90 degree holes like I'm doing here for these pilot holes? Well, there's a solution for that. Stick around and you'll find out what it is. Welcome to Tool Talk Tuesday. If you're new here, I'm Sarah from Birds of a Feather. Unfortunately, this method can result in breakage of the drill bit itself and being stuck in the wood. Here it is from another view, but as I discovered, there is a far better way of doing this that will give you accurate pilot holes every single time. Before we move on to other solutions, I just want to remind everybody to protect your eyes whenever you're using power equipment. That's so important. Um, in this case, I tried also a drill press that uses a standard drill, but the problem with that is that the distance from the drill bit to the column is quite short so the only thing I could really do here was the perimeter of my board. Instead the ideal solution is to buy yourself a little plunge base from Veritas. This is actually specifically meant to hold a rotary tool like the Dremel. You just take off the collar and you just screw it right in as I'm showing you here. But before I screw this in. I'm going to take a bit. Along with that I've got one millimeter um, drill bits that are going to go in and that's a perfect width to accommodate the nails that we're going to be using. The nails are 18 gauge so a one millimeter drill bit is perfect. The great thing about this is that it has a light where you can direct it and then I'm just going to move it over to where I want to drill and I'm going to position and bring it down where I want it. That seems to be good right there. Now I'm just going to step on my foot tool here. And there you go, a perfectly drilled 90 degree hole. Now I'm going to continue across the row and complete the rest of these. So again, just to reiterate, I'm going to line it up and this light, you can see, without the light it's difficult to really see where I'm drilling, but you can position this anywhere you want. Okay, that's perfect. I'll step on my foot pedal down here to turn it on. And there you go. Let's just bring this around. Perfectly drilled and I can see what I'm doing. And down below is where I have the foot pedal all hooked up and you just step on this to get it going. I've got a chip brush here. I'm just going to brush away all the debris. Drilling out the pilot holes will leave behind these little dust bunnies but it's a necessity because you're drilling a very hard wood. This is oak. Now that it's finished, I can peel it off and then vacuum up the dust. I'm just going to go grab the vacuum and get it all cleaned up. The attachment I'm using is for keyboards and it comes in handy when vacuuming up small projects like this. And here's how I use the Veritas plunge base to great effect. Check out the video linked above to see how to do this project. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications of our upcoming projects. Join us every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Tool Talk Tuesday. Signing off for now, keep your friends close and your tools even closer.